What is up everybody? Thank you once again for joining me for another Foxy Games UK video. Game news, game news, so much game news. PlayStation, Nintendo, Xbox, there's a lot to talk about. A whole lot to unpack, especially the thing that's trending at the moment regarding Xbox, where it's uh, stated that no Xbox is trending on X, formerly Twitter, following Marvel's versus Capcom announcement. So we'll get into that in just a bit, that one by video at gamer.com. So yeah, Marvel's versus Capcom fighting collection, arcade classics has just been announced. Physical and digital versions across Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4 and PC via Steam this year. Announced during Nintendo's Direct, amazing Direct by the way, joining a fantastic Xbox Games Showcase. This jam pack collection includes seven timeless games in an all-in-one package including X-Men Children of the Atom, Marvel Super Heroes, Marvel vs. Capcom Clash of Superheroes, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, New Age of Heroes, Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter, X-Men vs. Street Fighter, and side-scrolling Shoot 'em Up, Beat 'em Up, The Punisher. A fantastic collection of games, all-time classics, available to own physically and digitally. Let me tell you, I'm so excited about this. I can't wait to buy it on cartridge. I just want to have it on cartridge for Nintendo Switch. So yeah, the Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection Arcade Classics on sale later this year for a recommended retail price of $49.99 US dollars. I take that to be $39.99 UK pounds. Also brings a ton of new enhanced features for players to enjoy, including battling it out online. All the new fighting games in the collection will have online ranked casual and lobby matched unlocked of ready for players to showcase their abilities with friends, family and other players around the world. Of course, you've got Couch Co-op as well. There's a robust rollback netcode. Online play for the collection is supported with rollback netcode for a strong and stable online experience, which is one of the reasons said that this is not coming to Xbox because of the MT framework and its incompatibility with Xbox Live, which then begs the question, why didn't they just release the game as a single player couch co-op and then when they sort out the online uh, hoo-ha uh, patch the game later but no it's straight up not coming to xbox consoles so that has caused the no xbox or not on xbox to trend on x marvel vs capcom fighting collection arcade classics offers a timeless celebration of legacy fighting games, delivering diverse roster of iconic characters, enhanced features and competitive gameplay, reliving the nostalgia and discovering for the first time the enduring classics. Uniting fans of all generations in celebration of Capcom's legendary fighting game series, stay tuned for more on this one. It is sad though that it's not coming to Xbox. Which neatly segues into the videogamer.com article where the no Xbox trends on X following Marvel vs. Capcom announcement. Also, by the way, Black Myth Wukong is delayed on the Xbox platform as well, which also prompted a trend last week or the week before. So yeah, Nintendo bought its A game with the Nintendo Direct presentation, announcing a new Mario and Luigi game, a new Zelda game where you can play as Princess Zelda for the first time, and finally revealing a release window for Metroid Prime 4. But one of the most unexpected announcements was the Marvel vs. Capcom fighting collection, which will bundle, as I mentioned, seven entries from the series, including the beat-em-up Punisher, from 1993 and six classic entries from the fighting game franchise, bringing them into the modern age with quality of life changes and online play. This collection will be bypassing both the Xbox One and Series X, much to the disappointment of the Xbox community. Now, following the announcement of the Marvel vs. Capcom fighting collection, no Xbox began to trend on X as the community expressed their views on the game not seen an Xbox release. So yeah, that's a real issue for Xbox. You know, it's not just the Xbox platform missing out on the Marvel vs. Capcom fighting collection. I mean, it's also missed out on Black Myth Wukong. 
and uh, when I say missed out it will be eventually coming to Xbox platforms but unfortunately the developer has said that there is a stumbling block in development many have uh, led to speculation that yeah it could be the Xbox Series S and it's let's say 10 gigabyte of uh, RAM that's causing the issue it certainly isn't the GPU it certainly isn't the CPU it could be a RAM issue uh, because we know Xbox Series X is pretty much on par with PlayStation uh, 5 in terms of spec give or take a few features uh, but yeah so a lot of people are pointing to Xbox Series S as to why Black Myth Wukong will not be coming to Xbox Series X platforms but that's not the only bum side of the news because I discovered not too long ago that uh, Black Myth Wukong physical version offers an activation code instead of a disc if you buy the physical edition yes yes insane as it sounds the physical version of game sciences fabulous looking Black Myth Wukong will offer an activation code instead of a disc the official pre-order FAQ for Black Myth Wukong states that this is the first time Games Science is releasing a console game globally and it's currently facing limitations in offline resources required for the import, export, transportation and distribution and sales of a physical disc. As a result, physical copies of Black Myth Wukong will come with an activation code for the digital version instead of offering a standard disc. But they are hopeful that once they sort out those logistic hurdles, it will eventually offer a disc-based physical edition of the game. Black Myth Wukong is now officially available to pre-order for PS5, Xbox Series X and S and PC, with the game set to schedule to release only on PC and PS5 for the time being on August 17 this year. But it's not all bad news for Xbox. Forza Horizon 5 has added iconic cars from Back to the Future, Jurassic Park and Knight Rider so you can finally get your kit on. Yes, the Universal Icons Car Pack adds kit from Knight Rider, Jurassic Park's 1992 Jeep Wrangler Sahara and a distinct version of the DeLorean Time Machine from each of the Back to the Future films in the trilogy. Each time machine features a unique look and visual effect. So if you hit that 88 miles per hour, you'll get that effect kick in. And a Jurassic Park Wrangler features the park's logo as well as the iconic color scheme from the film. And finally, Kit, my favorite, includes a body kit that includes Super Pursuit Mode. And it does come with the sound effects, though sadly, not the voiceover. This isn't the first time Forza Horizon 5 has introduced licensed vehicles from pop culture properties. Players can already purchase the Forza Horizon 5 Fast X car pack, as well as Forza Horizon 5 Hot Wheels expansion in addition to those aforementioned vehicles. This season adds 17 event lab props to help players build modern highways and a robot collectible out into the world so yeah i absolutely love forza horizon 5 it's an amazing game it's probably the best open world arcade racing game you can buy smashing need for speed smashing the crew i've got the crew motorfest on ps5 and i barely touch it because it's just not a patch uh, no pun intended on uh, forza horizon 5 loving forza horizon 5 so yeah universal icon car pack will be available starting from june 18 that was yesterday and the mustang arrives on june 20th the ionic and ev6 land in game on june 27 with the yaris coming out on july 4th and the taken that's the porsche taken on july 11 fantastic and in our last news item of the video, this one courtesy of TechRadar.com, Metroid Prime 4 Beyond is coming to Nintendo Switch in 2025. Metroid Prime 4 is actually real. No need for any more memes as its full title was revealed to be Metroid Prime 4 Beyond at Nintendo's June 18 Nintendo Direct presentation just yesterday a title reveal isn't all that was on offer either the game has been confirmed for a 2025 release on nintendo switch potentially eight years a whole eight years since its initial reveal man this had better be good and it's looking that way so a segment of gameplay shows series protagonist samus 
Aaron descend to a planet in her spacecraft before transitioning behind her visor, thus confirming the latest game in the Prime subseries is maintaining that first-person view. The game looks absolutely gorgeous too, no doubt pushing Switch, the current Switch that is, to its limits while maintaining a 60 FPS frame rate. I'll be honest with you. At first glance, and because it was, you know, poor compression, 1080p YouTube stream, I thought this was Nintendo Switch 2 graphics. I thought this looks a little too advanced for the current Switch, the humble little Switch that we all know and love. But no, on closer inspection, this is actually running on the older Switch. As you can tell from the lo-fi, slightly blurred out visuals and uh, rough edges and tight lazing. There you go. So yeah. Samus battles her way through various space pirate enemies showing off iconic series abilities such as missiles, morph ball and scan visor. The 3D map is also seen which seems to confirm the game will maintain the series open ended exploration. So most interestingly though the trailer teases the return of Silex who debuted in Metroid Prime Hunters for Nintendo DS and had a brief cameo in Metroid Prime 3 Corruptions ending. Flanked by a pair of Metroids suggesting he's been able to manifest powers against the Galactic Federation with Dark Samus gone, it seems like Silas is likely to fill that primary antagonist role. Now, given Metroid Prime 4's uh, Beyond 2025 release date, there's a decent chance it could also make the jump to the Switch successor, Super Nintendo Switch or Nintendo Switch 2. You know, who knows what it's going to be called at this point. But whether that will have its own version or enhanced port remains to be seen. I suspect 1440p upscale to 4K with a better anti-lazing and, you know, sharper graphics and quicker load times, obviously. Uh, but we, we don't know yet, do we? So until Nintendo shares any official details on its upcoming new console, speculation runs rife. And just before we go, there was also a Zelda game, a new Zelda game, uh, Zelda, uh, The Echoes of Wisdom, uh, looking like Animal Crossing, top-down view, looked very enchanting, very charming, but you play as actually Zelda this time. I suppose the woke mob will be happy about that. Tired of rescuing the, 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 the damsel in distress, the princess, now it's the princess rescuing uh, Link. There you have it. Nintendo done a splendid job joining Xbox Game Showcase as one of the standout presentations of the year, Sony, state of play, better come back, ham. And I'm not even gonna <laughs> say what I mean by that, but they better come hard with their next showcase because it's looking pretty sleek and slim on the PlayStation 5 side of things. But yeah, you don't know, the year is young, anything could happen towards the end of 2024. But that's your news. If you like the video, like, subscribe, hit notification, and always remember, play games, not corporations.